Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Abby Weddits, and I'm back again with another video on uh, Sony Vegas Pro 13 and this is a tutorial on how to use the velocity effect. Um, now what it does is obviously change the velocity of your clip um, and you can sync it up with the sounds uh, of whatever song you're using and uh, it makes a pretty cool effect. So I'm going to show you guys an example of uh, what I did with it. So as you can obviously see, um, the clip speeds up at each beat, and um, now I'm just going to show you guys how to do that. Okay, now that you have your fresh project file, um, what you want to do is import uh, your files that you have. In this case, I have these three. So I'm going to drop in my song, and in the part that I showed you before, I used this little section right here. So I'm just going to click S to split, delete that, and drag it to the front of my project file. Um, next, import one of your clips that you're going to be using. And in this case, I'm not going to be able to hear this part of the song just because I have this blank file right here. So to separate these two from each other, click U on the keyboard and then select this part of your clip and click delete. Actually make sure it's selected first, U, then delete. Okay, now that they're separated, you can just scroll on your mouse to zoom in. And I want to make my first beat right here. So select a couple seconds beforehand, right? and click the space bar so the audio starts playing and whenever you hear a beat press M on your keyboard and what that'll do is drop a marker at each beat and uh, this will just give you a guideline for the rest of your video so okay, that'll work All right. So you can take your time with this and go to the part that you want to speed up. Like, okay, you see how his foot kicks the ball? If I want to make that part speed up, I'm going to drag that part to the part in the song right here to right before it happens. Okay, right click your clip and click switches and disable resample. Next, go up to insert slash remove envelope and click velocity. Now what this green bar does is allows you to speed up and slow down the clip. Um, what I did before is I slowed it down just a hair by dragging it down. Okay. Now, zoom in a little bit more and about three or four frames before your marker, double click, three or four after, double click, and also double click on your marker. Now grab the one in the middle and just drag it up, right? Okay, now you can bring this one up and down to time it up where it hits his foot. Boom, okay, there you go. Now you'll be able to see it speeds up right there. And you can go quickly through the rest of these, like I said, unless you want to take your time and time it up with certain things. Uh, but for this tutorial purpose, I'm just going to do the double click and all that fun stuff, right? Okay, now I'm just going to let you guys check out what I did so far. And what I did on the last one is when he kicked the ball up in the air at the end, I slowed this down right here a bunch. Right, so when it's up in the air, it's going real slow. And at this beat, what I did before is I split the clip and made it flow into the next project file, or the next uh, media file, sorry. And what I did was I dragged that in there, and let's just say I wanted to speed up. Oh, this is a shitty one. Uh, we'll just do it right, right here is cool, whatever. So I'm just going to drag it right here. Do the same thing, right click, switch, disable resample, right click, insert remove envelope, velocity. And I zoom in and about three or four frames before the end of this, double click. And this last marker right here, drag it up. Do the same thing, three or four after, grab this first one, drag it up. Now it's speeding up into the next clip and slowing down into the next one after that. And we're going to slow this down so it matches it. Do the same thing, three or four, three or four, all the way up. And then the same thing for the next two. And then I'll show you guys what I got, and that is basically it. But like I said, you could take your time and uh, add a lot more stuff to it. So here's the final product. I mean, here at the end, 
it looked kind of shaky just because he was just moving the camera around but you guys get the idea so if you guys did enjoy the video please leave a like down below and do not forget to comment on any uh, tutorials that you would like to see coming from my channel uh, you can go anywhere from illustrator to photoshop sony vegas after effects um shit anything else really so just let me know and i'll be sure to do a video on it as soon as i can all right thanks guys peace